Hello, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Um, in this video, we're gonna have an intro to OIM associations, and uh, then we will have uh, lots of videos about each case. Okay, so let's just have an intro now. When we do OO design, we're gonna have uh, associations. Inside association, probably we think about aggregation or composition. But uh, when we do OIM mapping, we generally just mention associations. And when we do associations, there are two types. One is uh, unidirectional, right? What does unidirectional mean? Okay, suppose you have, well, let's give one example. Uh, suppose here we have a person class and uh, we have a class address here okay unidirectional means what in the person we have address but uh, in the address doesn't it have any thing related to person so we can say person has a one to one unidirectional relationship right and it, we also has a bi-directional relationship when we have association. Bi-direction means what? In the address, we also have a person here. Okay, so person knows address and address knows a person, so it's bi-directional. But uh, in our database, does database has unidirectional, bi-directional? Database only has uh, bi-directional because based on the foreign key, you can reach the value from either side. So everything in the database is a bi-directional. And when we say unidirectional, one to one, one to many, unidirectional, we are only mentioned on the OO side, using the term on the OO side, association. Everything in the database is bi-directional. And also, as we just talked just now, in the associations, we have what? We have one to one relationship one to one relationship can be unidirectional and can be bidirectional right and uh, we can have uh, one to many okay one to many is only unidirectional suppose here we have address okay and uh, person has a collection which uh, of address this is one to many but address cannot have a collection of person because if it has a collection of person, it's gonna be many to many. So one to many is unidirectional, and we also has a many to one. Okay, here address can be used as many to one. Okay, it's just, you when we use them alone, it's also unidirectional. But both of them together, it can be bidirectional. So person we are has a collection of address and address can belongs to one of the person okay got it so many to one so um many to one to many many to one yes a, a, an address can be can belong one one of the uh, person right in this case this is uh, one to many, this is uh, many to one. This is a uh, many side, many side to one person, yes. So the, those uh, one to many, many to one is unidirectional, but when they use them together, it can't be bidirectional. And that's another one, which is uh, many to many, okay? And many to many can be unidirectional and can use also to con uh, configure for bidirectional. And uh, this is in the OO, but uh, in the database, in our database, okay, we can have here. How can I do a select? This select is not what I expect. Okay. And uh, in our database, okay, what do we have? We only has uh, bi-directional. And how bi-directional is achieved through foreign key. And through what? Through join table. Some we are called link table or conjunction table. 
okay but in a database it's not as complete as OO so here we need an a bridge okay we need a bridge to do the mapping and the bridge here is the hibernate or JPA okay so in other videos we will talk about each of the case and we will start with the many to one and also continue with others and also like a one to one or one to many we can choose using foreign key or we can choose using join table so we will talk all the cases so if you are interested you can take a look at other videos so thank you for watching and uh, uh, have a good black friday and see you next time bye bye